Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna be doing a book review on the book Holy Moments by Matthew Kelly. It is probably one of the best books I've ever read before. And it focuses on a concept that is very, very simple, but it can be very life-changing and really fulfilling if you start doing the thing that they talk about in the book like immediately. So I'm gonna get right into it, but first I kind of want to tell the story of how I even found the book because that has a lot to do with why it's important to me. I was walking my dog one day and I felt like I should go a little bit further than I normally go. I kind of felt prompted to just keep walking. I know that sounds dramatic, but I just felt like I should just keep walking. And when I was walking, I saw this little, what do you call it? A little like book exchange box on the corner of um, the street of like the neighborhood next to mine. And it looked like kind of like a, it's like a free book exchange where you like take one and then you bring one back. And so they had um, free books there. And this one little book caught my eye and it's the book I'm talking about, Holy Moments. It was just like tucked away in there and it looked like a quick read and I was just kind of drawn to it. And so I just picked it up and I started reading it as I was walking. And as I just kept walking, I just felt like I should be more present in my walk. And I kept walking and then there was like this fair going around. It was like, not like as big as like a state fair, but just like a little fair that had like a petting zoo and it just made my dog so happy and it was just like a series of beautiful things kept happening i talked to one of my neighbors on the way back who i had never met before and she was like picking i think it was peaches off of her tree or something and she like made a basket of them and just gave them to me and it really just made my day i went home you know, I had taken the puppy to this little petting zoo. I got a free book. I got some fruit from a neighbor. We had a really good conversation. And I just felt so uplifted that whole day. Even just thinking back to that day, I was really like on like, I felt like I was on a high. I was like on cloud nine that day. I just was just in really, really good spirits. And so uh, that brings me to the book. The book is so such a quick read and I want to recommend it to you guys um to whoever's watching so i'm not gonna give away like way too much but i took some notes in my notebook that i want to share about it so the idea is that some moments are holy and some moments are unholy but our choices can guide a moment in either direction and that's the whole concept of the book that basically our whole entire life is made up of the power of our choices and no matter what we choose, each choice has a lot of power to either contribute to making our life better and making us a better person, or that single moment can go in the opposite direction. What really matters most in your life is not what you've done or your past or everything, all the circumstances that led you up to where you are now. What's the most important is what you do next and what you do in each moment with you know, the choices that you have. And another thing that I highlighted early on in the book is the more that we are disconnected from God or the more disconnected from God our lives become, the more meaningless life becomes. And so basically these moments that I'm about to get into, the holy moments, they give meaning and they give purpose to our lives. So what is a holy moment? Good question. A holy moment is a single moment in which you open yourself to God. You make yourself available to him. You set aside personal preference and self-interest. And for one moment, you do what you prayerfully believe God is calling you to do. That to me is a holy moment is just a moment where you decide to collaborate with God. You put aside what you want to do, what would be more comfortable, what would be convenient, and just do what you really think 
God would want you to do in that moment or what the Holy Spirit's leading you to do, whether it feels like inconvenient or anything. And it's one of those things that it kind of brings this un this inexplainable joy to you. And a couple of things I really liked from the book that they talked about were um, just learning to master that moment of decision. A simple way to think of a choice is make a choice that's make choices that are easy to live with. When you're not sure what to do at the moment, in a moment consulting a future version of yourself, like 10 years, 20 years down the line, what would this version of yourself want you to do in that moment? What would they think is best? What would they advise you to do? I know I told you my story earlier but about when I was on my walk with my dog, Charlie, but I have another one that happened that I didn't even realize was a holy moment at the time, but it definitely was. So I was getting Starbucks one day and when I was in the drive through line, I was pulling up to the window and I was reaching for my wallet once I got up to the window to pay for my drink. And the woman at the drive through was like, oh, the person in front of you already paid for it. I was like, what? I was like, why? What are you talking about? And I was just like, why? And then she's like, like I don't know. They just, they just paid, they just paid for your drink. I guess they're paying it forward or something. I was like, oh my gosh. And so um, I pulled over, you know, to drink my drink. Um, and it really, this is so embarrassing, but like I started crying. I started tearing up a little bit, you know, like I don't think I was having a bad day necessarily. It wasn't like anything crazy, but it just made my day. It made me so happy. Like I called it, I told my mom and my sister about it. Now, every single time since then that I've gone to a Starbucks drive-thru, I have paid for the person's drink behind me. And this is all because somebody decided in a moment, somebody, a complete stranger to me, I did not know this person. They drove off after they paid for my drink. They don't know me. They don't know anything about me. They just decided to kind of pay it forward for no reason, which I thought was so sweet and yeah, it literally made me tear up, you know? I just, I never forgot that. And literally anytime I go to a Starbucks drive through if there's somebody behind me, I pay for their drink just because Starbucks drinks, at the most, you're gonna be paying like somewhere between five to $10. I'll never really know what it does for somebody, but I know what it did for me that one time that somebody paid for my drink. And it just really made me so happy for the rest of the day and um, so what this person did, which they didn't realize, is they set off kind of like a wave of paying it forward. And so that's just one example of a holy moment. I don't think they always have to be grand gestures. I think it can be as simple as encouraging somebody, sending a text to somebody, letting, you, letting them know that you're thinking of them, just sending kind words, encouragement, even doing something good for your future self. You know, like deciding to eat healthier in a moment or just setting your future self up for something positive or to feel better. I think holy moments can really be simple. It can be something as simple as working out when you don't feel like it. You feel so much better. Just think about the times that you've pushed through. You, your future self just appreciated it more. And that's the concept of the book. It really gets into more specific examples and the impact that it can have, but that's what I kind of want you to see for yourself if you decide to read this book. It gives meaning and purpose to your life in so many ways. Even if you don't know it, you have a purpose. God created you for a specific purpose. Even within that, I think something that can give every day meaning, every moment meaning is deciding to be open to God. And even for example, creating this video, I had a different concept that I originally wanted to talk about this week. I know how important the book was for me and how important this message is. So this is one of those moments where I decided to partner with God and be like, Hey, I'm open to sharing the message of holy moments. I want more people to know about it. I want it to, even if one person hears this and decides to do something kind for somebody else or for themselves, that's putting this 
idea of holy moments in motion you know that's adding purpose to what i'm doing even on my youtube channel sometimes having these holy moments it just feels good you can't describe it like something so small as my grandma she cannot drive and she just loves going to the grocery store up and down the aisles but she can't do that you know whenever she feels like it she has to wait on somebody or order groceries and so we went to the grocery store last week or a week or two ago and she was just so excited to be there she was so happy and seeing her this happy genuinely made me happy I just was so I don't know just seeing her excited about this See, it's so small it doesn't have to be these big you know these big grand gestures it can be very small things. sometimes it just feels good it just feels really good on a deep level to have moments like this and partner with god and just be open to the holy spirit the last thing if you made it this far if you want to read this book i'm going to be giving away six free copies so if you are interested in getting this book for free and reading it, I will literally send it to you. We'll just comment holy moments in the comments. And if you're one of the first six people to comment that, I will literally send you the book. I was I got the book for free. I did not pay for it. And so I think that's the concept of the book, to just keep paying it forward. I would give this book five stars. I recommend it highly. I'm sending it to six people. And that's about it. So I really hope that you were encouraged about the concept of holy moments, that you'll maybe create one moment or two moments that are holy moments. And um, that, and also I post videos every Wednesday. So I will see you guys next Wednesday. Bye guys.